Hi, my name's Brody, and I recently played pool on the world's skinniest pool table. And making a pool ball on the world's skinniest pool table, that's pretty cool and pretty difficult. But I thought I could do something even cooler and more difficult. Instead of just making a ball on the world's skinniest pool table, which you can see here, I wanted to play a game of pool on the world's skinniest pool table. Huh? Play a game? How would that work? Well, I could play nine ball. Nine ball? Yeah, if you don't know, nine ball is a game of pool played with only nine balls, and the nine ball is the money ball. So whoever makes the nine ball first wins. And instead of it being stripes versus salads, you have to hit the lowest number on the table first. Usually, this means you make the balls in numerical order. But here's the thing. Unlike an eight ball, you can make the nine ball at any point and win. You just need to make sure that you're hitting the lowest ball on the table with the cue ball first. Meaning, yeah, if the nine ball is the last ball on the table, you hit it in directly. But if, let's say, the four ball is on the table and you hit the four ball first and the nine ball goes in after you hit the four ball, you win the game. Right. Well, that's great and all, but you still didn't describe how you're going to do that on a skinny table. Well, I'm going to play nine ball on the world's skinniest table. So what I'll do is line up all the balls in numerical order, and then I'll do the world's longest pool combo on the world's skinniest pool table. Oh, I see. You're gonna hit the one ball into the two ball, into the three ball, yada yada, uh, until the eight ball hits the nine ball, and the nine ball goes in the pocket, and you win the game. Exactly. Oh, that's cool. But what about the break? Well, we aren't gonna talk about that. Anyways, let's run out this table. So I set up all the balls from the one all the way down to the nine ball and just hoped they didn't fall off. And then I had to stare down this beast. Honestly, just by looking at it, I thought I was gonna make it in one shot. And you know what? I was wrong. I could only hit three balls. Three balls consistently. I went from thinking I was gonna make it in one take to thinking that it was impossible. I was never gonna make the nine ball. It sounded really cool. It did sound neat. Ba -da -da -da. <laughs> See, I just kept on missing. Maybe I wasn't getting better at combos, but one skill that I was picking up was my ability to put balls back on a skinny table and balance them there. And just when I thought that I mastered putting balls on the table, I kicked it over and they fell on the ground and I had to do it all over again. So now I wasn't making a nine ball and I was just knocking over the ball. So it's getting really frustrating. And at this point, I thought I was never gonna make the nine ball. So I thought instead of just making a nine ball combo and you know, maybe that was a bit of a lofty goal. I mean, honestly, look at how difficult this looks. This is ridiculous. So instead of doing the full table length combo, I decided that I was gonna remove some of the balls from the table and I was gonna actually just leave three of them and make it a three ball combo so it would be a lot easier and I could make it. Nope. Uh-uh. Okay, this is painful to watch. I mean, seriously. And then after missing a three ball combo again, that's when I remembered, I'm not doing this to make a three ball combo. I wanna make a nine ball combo. So I set up the balls again, but this time I put them really close together to make the nine ball combo a lot easier. And all it took is one try. One nine ball shot, one win. Let's go. And because that was so easy, I decided to space out the balls a little bit more. This time to see if I could make it a little bit more challenging, and to see if I could make just a little bit of a longer nine ball combo. Well, I guess it's time to space out the balls even more. Just 
dude! Dude, Eminem came back for you. And when I discovered that the only trick to making the shot was to believe in myself, I wanted to push the balls apart even further to see if I could make an even longer nine ball combo. And at first, I didn't think it was possible, but instead of giving up, I tried it again and this was my next shot. That is a nine ball combo for the win. And you know what? Why not see it one more time, this time in slow motion. That was great. Do I want to be greedy and try to I Dude, do it. I feel like you have to now. Even though that was pretty cool, I wanted to do a full length table combo and my cameraman coaxed me into giving it another try. Could I do it now that I believed in myself? Nope, I never made the nine ball again. The closest I ended up getting was getting all the way down to the seven ball, which is still pretty cool, but it's not making the nine ball. The reason why it gets harder to make this combo at larger distances is because as the distance between the balls increases, uh, the smallest imperfection gets amplified, meaning that the balls no longer go in a straight line and they fly off the table. So you gotta be hitting the balls dead center and they have to hit the next one dead center in order for this to work. And honestly, even though the combo wasn't the full length of the table, I'm still super happy with the results. I mean, winning a game of nine ball on the world's skinniest pool table with a nine ball combo, that's pretty cool. And it sounds cool too. But I didn't do it just one or two times. I did it four times. All right, this was a lot of fun for me and I hope it was fun for you too to watch. And thank you so much for watching. If you like what you saw, please, like and subscribe, and I hope to see you in the next one. I lost the game.